I'm Doretta Cornell, now of Hawthorne, originally from the Bronx. <laughs> 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 Winter for us was a couple of weekends sliding down Gunther Avenue. We'd walk bundled over Baychester's five-foot pile where the plows had cleared a car for a lane for cars and clomp the six or seven blocks in snow to our knees to that hill where only two or three cars would pass in an afternoon, heading down toward the chicken farms where Sabina went each Sunday after church for a raw, fresh egg to give her a child. It didn't work. She sent instead for niece after niece from Italy to fill the gap. And where the chow chow drew, drooled from huge blue gums in his folds and folds of skin, as if some smaller beast ate him alive inside him. Oblivious with sled shrieking down the hill, then head home, arms and legs caked with ice, our scarves stiff around our breath. That was winter in the Bronx. And now I think of heading out onto glaciers, Snow and ice, millennia old, in silent melt and slide. I picture it serene and still, without the cars and planes and peoples and siren and buildings of New York. But all that ice is too much menace to be calm. Life there must always be on edge, ready to slide back into chill oblivion, ready in one shaft of sunlight to spread roots and petals, grow quickly to seed before the cold dark can fall. I bought boots. I already feel their thick treads anchoring me to the glacier. Mm -hmm. This is a Connecticut poem. I don't, I've only was there. Uh, we went to vacation there and someplace inside. Uh, and this I was from watching a child and her mother playing in, on the beach one morning. West Haven Beach. The beach is littered with pink boats or tiny beds with sheets folded back. Lady Slippers, another stroller, calls them, watching her tot try to insert her toes. So many lives lost in a tide, all ages, if sh shells grow minute and layered. A crab smaller than my little fingernail moves among the dead with almost invisible feelers and legs, but a crab, unmistakably, a tiny black square moving sideways, step by step. I do not know how she survived. Did she just hatch from some buried womb, ignorant of the waves? Or is this her size, full-grown and mother to yet smaller ducks? How can life be shed so liberally? The beach is edged this way at each tide, yet we cling to life and cry out in protest at our own death, astonished, resentful, at this one common mystery of all the living. Mm -hmm. 